Yes, life is messy, and so are toddlers. Hey, homemaker, this week I'm sharing my weekly cleaning routine for my toddler, Brady's, room. First, I always start out with a tidy. There is very little time this room doesn't need a tidy. Once everything is picked up, Brady will be right behind me taking it all back out again. And that is why decluttering, organizing, and assigning every damn little toy a designated spot is so very important. Everything having a home makes this tidy time a br- well, it makes it less painful and time consuming. I'm Andrea and here on Home and Family Management, the YouTube channel, I share the systems, habits, routines, tips, and tactics that I have learned and found that help me run my home more simply and efficiently as a stay-at-home mom. Tidy time just means putting everything in its designated spot, its home. Anything that doesn't have its home in this room is just put in a pile outside the door or sometimes in an empty box so that I can stay on task with just this room and deal with putting away the other stuff all at once, which saves me time and mental energy from having to get back on track from the distraction of walking into other rooms that undoubtedly need a good cleaning too. The more you consistently tidy, goal being at least once a day, the easier it is to do. The less likely it is to be a complete disaster scene. But I also make it a point to clear out underneath the bed and the underneath the furniture and the toy storage at least once a week. Now I am going to dust. This week I am using this handy tool to dust the ceiling fan. I think it is always a good idea to find and invest in fun, cool tools that make it easier and motivate you to do the task. Bonus points for any tool that saves you time and energy because as homemakers, as stay-at-home moms, we know our time and our energy is just as valuable as our currency. This double alligator mouth dusting tool has a microfiber slip on it. I simply clamp one of the mouths around the fan blade to get the dust off the sides and then flip it to its top and brush off the top of the blade, making a simple and efficient way to complete the tedious task of dusting a ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. 
I got this handy dandy tool off Amazon and we'll have it linked below. I do also use this same tool when I am dusting the blinds. Every week, I change up what I am dusting in the rooms, rotating between the fan, the blinds, and the shelving, and then always am dusting off the dresser. Next up is the mirrors. And remember, this is a sticky, messy, two and a half year old's room. So cleaning the mirrors always makes a huge difference in how clean the room looks and feels. And it also can be used as a fast way to polish off a room before company comes over. It wasn't too bad this week, but it can get pretty gross. Think sticky handprints and dried on saliva from him full on licking the mirror while pretending to be a dog sometimes. I just used my Thieves all-purpose spray and a microfiber cloth, well, and a stool for this cleaning task. Speaking of grimy hands, I also like to use the same Thieves spray on the door and the door frame, focusing on where people put their hands to open and close the door. Now, I would like to mention that while all these tasks are on my weekly cleaning checklist, I'm not striving for perfection every single week. If something isn't too bad or if time is short, I don't stress over it. I believe in taking a practical approach, focusing on the priorities where I assess and tackle what's most important for this week, understanding that there's always next week to catch up. Like with this next task, I just do portions of the baseboards every week. So that way it's never too overwhelming, but I still get it all done. If you're liking this kind of motivation, make sure you're following us on Instagram at Home Family Management, where I go live every Monday for a Monday motivation, as well as share daily some more tips and tactics to make your homemaking a little easier. It's like talking to and the cherry on top of the sundae, as always, finishing up with a vacuum of the entire room. You don't look at me, please just look at me. I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily. You always know which buttons you should push, baby. I'm a ticking time bomb that goes up easily. But just to hear. 
Here at Home and Family Management, we take our jobs seriously. We prioritize growth in all areas of life. We get done what needs to be done, so that way we have the time and energy to focus on whatever it is that brings actual joy to us and ours. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know below if you have any questions or comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time with another home and family management system, habit, routine, tip or tactic to help you run your home more simply and efficiently. Talk to you soon.